there really is no reason why we shouldn't get uh, science driving politics uh, because clearly the politicians are here simply because I believe they accept the science. I'm not too sure whether they are aiming at a particular temperature goal because uh, there is a lot of discussion on whether it should be 2 degrees or 1.5 degrees that should be the allowable uh, increase in temperature that the world should target. There are some parts of the world which even with 1.5 degrees Celsius would suffer a great deal of hardship and impacts that clearly would be very disruptive of their normal way of life, of their, of their ability to pursue livelihoods and what represents at least a decent or stable form of existence. Uh, so, you know, if we are going to be concerned about some of these communities and these societies, uh, then maybe 1.5 is what we should be targeting. Even with two degrees increase in temperature, there would be impacts that are going to be quite serious. Now, the question is whether the world is willing to accept those or find some means by which we can adapt to those. Uh, and therefore, I think what we should get over here is a package deal that not only looks at emissions reduction, but also the finances that would be pledged to help those countries that are really vulnerable and that would be the worst hit with the impacts of climate change. I don't think those leaked emails have had any impact at all in terms of affecting the credibility of the IPCC and the scientific community at large. The timing of it raises uh, the question whether the whole thing was meant to discredit the science behind climate change and to see that the negotiations in Copenhagen could somehow be disrupted or stalled. We must also accept that there's always a lag between people understanding uh, a particular issue and then being willing to act on it. So even those who are currently aware today but possibly not all that motivated to take action would develop that level of motivation by 2015, 2016. Science will have to dr drive decisions not only at the top but also at the bottom of uh, the social ladder. It seems to me the only way out of this is for people to get active through grassroots actions and for them to clearly convey to their elected leaders in democracies in particular that they expect firm and forward-looking action on their part to deal with climate change.